Hi guys, welcome back to another video and as y'all can see by the title, I don't know what the title is going to be on this video, but as y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail, my niece and nephew is loud. <laughs> nah, but what I was going to say, your girl is blonde as you guys can see by the thumbnail and the title so if you guys are interested in this hair interested in how i put it on my head if you if or if you just want to watch the video let's just go ahead and get into it <laughs> i don't know why i did that all right so i'm starting off with freshly washed clean blow dried hair i didn't own my scalp i probably should have owned my scalp now thinking about it i didn't own my scalp but Make sure you owe your scalp, okay? So I'm just gonna take these buns down and part my, try to get a clean part because I'm using my scalp color to reflect through the lace, if that makes sense. I'm not using a cap or anything and I'm gonna make the part a little more clean because I felt like it wasn't clean enough for me. So I went back in and parted it a little bit more. Alright, moving on to how my hair is going to be under the wig. You guys have seen me slick my hair down with gel, but this time around I decided to braid it and actually try to make this look bomb. Now this braid down wasn't bad, but I do feel like it could have been a little more flat. So I do recommend getting a professional braid your hair down for your wigs because I think that would have just made it a little more easier for me because with going to the gym and just taking the wig off and on and reapplying it, my hair got frizzy and it got puffy and it was just a little time consuming to deal with. You know, it wasn't a lot to deal with because honestly, I just slapped the wig back on my head and didn't really care about my hair getting frizzy. Um, but if you do have a wig cap, definitely use your wig cap because that will help your hair not get too frizzy when you're taking the wig off and on. And I take back what I said about getting a professional to braid your hair down yes i do recommend that too but just find somebody to braid your hair down honestly it can be your mom your sis your aunt your uncle whoever knows how to braid have them braid your hair either straight back or you can do something a little more fancy but straight back will honestly do all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and speed this process up because i don't want this to take too long i don't want y'all to get bored so we're just gonna speed this up if you know how to braid do this if you don't know how to braid slick it back i got another video for that if you don't want to braid it so i got you even though i don't know what i'm doing for real for real i'm just showing y'all how i put the wig on my head okay so if i'm doing something wrong you can politely let me know but don't be rude because i already told y'all i don't know what i'm doing for real so these are the braids all finished and I'm going to cross the braids in the back and then bobby pin it to the braid. I don't have the clip of me bobby pinning it to my head. Don't know where that went, but I just went ahead and went in and put the wig on my head so I can customize it and pluck the hairline, make baby hairs, and just make sure the wig was going to fit before I actually, you know, put the glue on. Honestly, y'all, this blonde is so cute. Y'all don't understand. I've been trying, I've been wanting to do blonde for a minute. And I finally mustered up the guts to do it. And RPG Show came through with a sponsorship. So it was just right. It was just time for me to do it now. So I'm just showing y'all the color of the hair before I start to plug the hairline and all that other stuff. Honestly, you didn't really need, I didn't really need to plug the hairline. I just wanted to make it look really realistic. You know what I'm saying? I'm very picky about putting wigs on my head. I don't want it to look like a wig. So this is the wig up close and personal. And I just wanted to show y'all how the lace is literally my skin tone okay as you guys can see i already tried to cut some baby hairs but i'm gonna finish cutting some baby hairs later on in this video honestly y'all don't even have to do what i'm doing in this video you guys can just cut the lace off of this wig and plop it on your head no glue no nothing at all like you don't need to do all of this I just wanted to do this because I wanted to try something different. Okay, so let's go over the specs of this wig. As y'all can see, this is the inside of the wig. This is a lace 
frontal wig yeah lace frontal wig it has a 200 percent density the lace is light brown the length is 20 inches and um the texture that i got is silky also my cap size i got size one um and the circumference of it is 21.5 through um 22 inches so as y'all can see i'm over here plucking the hairline and honestly i don't really know what i'm doing i'm just trying to make it look like my hairline i've seen a whole bunch of videos of people plucking the hairlines so i was like hmm let me pluck the hairline because this is what the professionals are doing so i'm plucking the hairline <laughs> and now i'm just gonna take my hair down and comb out the excess hair that i plucked out so i won't be shedding all over the place also i don't know if you guys peeped it but this wig comes with an adjustable strap already sewn onto the wig so that makes it even more easier just to put this wig on your head right out of the box because you don't have to sew the strap on anymore so thank you rpg show thank you <laughs> all right so the hairline is plucked now we're moving on to these baby hairs because I'm Shani and I got to have baby hairs like stop playing with me so I'm taking this baby hairs tube brush that I got from my local beauty supply store and I'm taking the comb side of the brush and I'm just pulling out some baby hairs and we're just gonna take this little thing that I got from the beauty supply store I seen somebody use it on YouTube and cut me some baby hairs girl like just like that I didn't want it to be too long and then I didn't want it to be too short as well and I also didn't want the baby hairs to look blunt because baby hairs aren't blunt looking so that's why i got that little thing <laughs> all right so now i'm pulling out some more baby hairs but before i cut them i'm going to go ahead and thin out the hairline behind my baby hairs because i seen somebody do this too on youtube <laughs> so i'm just doing it um it actually looked pretty good so i guess people know what they doing low key all right so once i'm done thinning out the hairline behind my baby hairs i'm going to cut the baby hairs because i need that little swoop action okay so this is the swoop action activity that i'm talking about i need that little swoop so i'm just making sure my baby hairs aren't too long before i actually cut them all right so now that i have majority of my baby hairs cut i'm going to pre lay down my baby hairs if that makes sense this is not like a holding foam it's a curly foam so it's just literally going to lay them down for like a second um so i can see what i'm doing before i actually do it i gotta see it before i commit to it and then i just added some more swoop action to the other side <laughs> why am i calling this swoop action i don't know moving right along to officially placing the wig on my head before i do this before i promise y'all i'm wrapping this video up okay give me some time so i'm going to <laughs> take this got to be glued gel and push all of my baby hairs or all of my edges like slick everything back and up so that when i do put this wig on my edges don't get trapped in nothing because girl I still need my edges so I'm just making sure I'm kind of protected and then this also gives the wig something else to stick to because the got to be glued gel is very sticky so when I do put the wig on it will be sticking to this too so now I'm taking that same got to be glued gel and I'm putting this above or in front of my hairline because this is where the wig is going to sit and stick to is not going to stick to my edges is sticking to like my forehead does that make sense i really hope this is making sense so i'm putting a couple layers of the got to be glued gel i'm gonna let it get tacky put another layer and then i'm going to blow dry it and then once it dries i'm going to put the wig on my head well not once it gets dry dry once it gets really tacky then i will put the wig on my head so once this glue was finally tacky enough for me to put the wig on, I wiped off my hands with some alcohol because it doesn't just come off with water. So I had to get some alcohol and wipe off my hands before I touch my wig. And I kind of think I got some got to be glued in the wig because yeah, it, yeah. Anyways, moving on to putting the wig on my head. <laughs> All right. So as y'all can see, I'm not using a wig cap. I'm just using my scalp. <laughs> So I'm just holding this down and then once it sticks to my forehead, I'm going to 
hold it on the sides where my sideburns are and make sure it's sticking and then <laughs> and then once it sticks like that I'm going to use the freeze spray because your girl needs a little more security I want to make sure this does not slide back I ain't got time for it to be sliding back you know what I'm saying so I just needed an extra layer of security and then once that was stuck down then I cut the lace off literally cutting the lace off was the last thing I did well not really because I had to do my baby hairs again but y'all get what I'm saying okay so that's one layer of got to be glued free spray drying down and now I'm going to go in with another layer of got to be glued free spray I think that's the name of this free spray if it's not the right name I'll have it in the description box I'm just going off the dome right now and now I'm going to let that second layer dry down but this is what I noticed while wearing this wig y'all I think I kind of OD'd with it because I kind of had a little headache I don't know if it was a little tight I don't know if it was tugging on my edges or something but I did have a little headache so be mindful with how hard you're pressing I guess when it comes to using all of this stuff now I'm going to cut off the lace girl my edges are laid swoop swoop <laughs> and I'm doing it very jagged because I heard blunt lines aren't good when it comes to lace so I made sure to make it jagged so it can like still melt into my skin and another thing that I'm noticing while I'm looking at this video with y'all and doing this voiceover um this looks kind of scary like I'm about to cut my skin so y'all just be extra careful when it comes to cutting off the lace on your wig especially if it's glued down to your face Okay, so before when I was making my baby hairs, I didn't make the sideburns because I just felt like I needed to lay the wig down before I made the sideburns. And sideburns are easy. You can't really mess them up like that. I don't think you just like swoop them. And to clean the excess glue or excess got to be glue, gel, or free spray off, I just took some alcohol on a wash rag and just patted it off and it came right off. Once all the crust was off, I cut my sideburns and then laid them down. I don't remember what I laid them down with. It, yeah, I don't remember. You can use some gel or got to be glue gel. But I don't really like how got to be glue gel looks on baby hairs. It looks too crunchy. So I'll keep you guys updated on what I'm using for my edges. Just make sure you're following me on Instagram and on YouTube because I don't know which. I'll probably update you guys on both, but follow me on Instagram too. These are my edges, and this is the finished look. Okay, what's up? What's up, Shani? Blondie Yana, let's get it. Y'all, please excuse me. It's it's mad early. It's What time is it? It's 6.52. I've been doing this voiceover all night, all morning. I'm tired, which explains my voice, but this hair. Yes, I love it. Oh. I definitely wasn't done so I took that little thing that I got from the beauty spot store and added some layers to the front to frame my face because I didn't want it to look like one length in the front and I kind of messed it up a little bit because they're not the same length on each side just excuse that but it still came out cute and I'm glad that I added it eh. And I'm glad that I added the layers in the front of my face because it just framed it way better. And and yeah, girl, that's it. Y'all see me? All right, you guys, so this is the hair. I did add some concealer on the parting because, I don't know, it just made it look better doing it this way. And what else did I do? Oh, I have washed this hair. I have braided this hair and made it curly. Um, but if you are going to wash this hair, before y'all even click the link, I'm just going to let y'all know that this wig is expensive. It's... Girl, it's expensive. So... All right, pause. If you guys are wondering what all the popping sound is in the background, it's fireworks. It's the fourth. My bad. I was literally trying to get this intro and outro done, so I was ignoring it. So yeah, if you guys are wondering what all that noise is, it's fireworks. Happy fourth. Hmm. So if you do end up getting this wig, you cannot wash this wig with just anything because that's what I did. I'm just letting y'all know what I did so y'all don't 
wash the hair with some random shampoo and conditioner and be like oh my gosh this hair is trash it's not trash you just can't wash this blonde wig custom colored wig with just any random shampoo would you wash your hair with any random shampoo at the drugstore no i don't know why i thought i could do that with this wig but i definitely did and girl it would this hair was not rocking with me after I did that. So I had to go back in and deep condition it. Um, I don't remember what deep condition I used. I'll leave it in the description box if I remember. If I don't remember, definitely let me know down below and I will tell you guys which deep conditioner I used. So that's the spill on that. Other than that, this hair is bomb. It's been rocking with me. I wore it to the gym. Um, I probably will stop wearing it to the gym because it's just too much to maintain when I keep going to the gym and sweating and all that other stuff. It does hold a curl. You can braid it and it'll curl like that. Um, when you wash it, it does wave up a little bit and you'll see the texture come out once you wash this hair. But when you blow dry it back out and straighten it, take your time and straighten it because if you just run the flat iron through, it's not going to straighten how you want it to straighten. You can't really be too lazy when it, well, you can be lazy with this hair, but you just can't like, expect it to look bomb and do the bare 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 minimum y'all get what i'm saying treat the wig with care because like i said this wig is expensive okay okay i think that wraps up this video i really hope you guys like this video i really hope you guys like this hair on me let me know i do think i want to do like blonde blonde like that wig like the wig that Raven came out with, that blonde, the platinum blonde hair, I think I really want to try that one next. Let me know if y'all want me to keep doing blonde because this is kind of cute. Like I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling it, you know? <laughs> but yeah, that's it for this video. I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much RPG Show again for sponsoring this video and being patient with me. I really do appreciate y'all and I will see y'all in the next video. Yo, these lashes are like, wow. <laughs> this is the only thing that like made it flat, flat. I haven't done this in a minute. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm do it at your own risk because, like I said, this is a four hundred dollar wig. Hey guys. I don't know if this looks right. Alright you guys, so this is the hair and this is my third time trying to film this intro. Oh, please. Okay. Wait, wait, oh. Oh.